So let's talk about DIY cleaning and what you can do. So a lot of products out on the market on the shelves are endocrine disrupting um, and they contain a lot of chemicals that have fragrance and things that are very harmful for your body. So if you ever see fragrance listed, um, fragrance isn't a thing. That, that can be like a hundred different chemicals that can be disrupting to your hormones. So, and when things are disrupting your hormones, please stop. Or you can get down. You wanna get down? No. Yes, ma'am, is the right thing to say. Um, so they can be disrupting your hormones. Your endocrine system kind of runs everything. So, hey, Amy. Hey, Peach. Um, so you want to uh, make sure that we're taking care of our bodies and we're not putting harmful chemicals in them and things that are foreign to your body. <laughs> say hi. We'll see how he is. <laughs> and um, so if you, I always encourage people when, when they're seeking essential oils, especially to start flipping over their bottles of their cleaners and things. First of all, I think it's crazy you know, if we ever have to have an icky sticker um, or a locked cabinet, um, something that our kids are accessing, that's scary, right? So what I love is what I'll be showing you is safe for your kiddos. Um, Sawyer actually helps me clean. Um, and so, yeah, it's great. So, uh, and if you have questions, chime in. This is like interactive. It's not like structured. This is like obviously gonna be very entertaining. You are, yeah. So, when you are making your own cleaner, there are some natural things that you can use. So, um, no thank you. You can use white vinegar. So, white vinegar, if you can find it, you should be able to find it now, um, is very acidic. So, um, I'm gonna look at a couple notes I have here. So, it can counteract some of icky buildups. Um, it can dissolve away soap, scum, brines left from hard water, um, and glue left behind by stickers. Um, and then you can also combine this with baking soda and make a paste. So um, what I'm showing you is going to be just an all-purpose cleaner, which you can totally use on like literally every surface. But you can also do things with your oils like make a toilet scrub um, paste with the vinegar and baking soda. So you can get creative. Um, if you are... With that said too, I'll preface, if you're new to oils and you have the Essential Life book, um, Amy, you're getting one of these. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're going to get it soon. I'm just going to like porch drop off it six feet away. Um, this will have some DIY ideas as well, um, but also look on doTERRA site. Just add in the search bar. You can also look on Pinterest. There's tons of ideas, but I use vinegar for part of my base. I use about a quarter cup of this and then the rest of water when I show you this. So, um, let's, let's just do it. I'll just talk about the ingredients as I go because baby's kind of fussing too. I'm gonna shut this actually. Um, yeah. There's not enough countertop space in this trailer, people. <laughs> almost there, almost there. We have, uh, here actually working that shouldn't be but other than that they will not be working after today so I have two cleaners right now these are 16 ounce amber bottles I have some super cute labels you can leave them plain um, if you ever are looking for labels I would encourage you to look at um, either oil life or share oils um, but <laughs> Oil Life, it, they're both like bottle companies um, that help with like making DIY stuff. So whether it's labels or bottles, um, they have these little like um, Oil Life guys lookbooks and um, they have stickers already in here. So a lot of times you can find a sticker of what you're looking for. Here, here you go. So <laughs> take the pacifier, take it. So these are 60 ounce, you can get different sizes. Um, the other thing you're gonna need besides vinegar, um, I'm adding in a little bit of alcohol. Um, this is actual like ethyl alcohol. This is by Heritage Distilling. They just, they just came out with this. Um, any, any ethyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, you want it 60% or more. Um, I'm just lucky that this was down the street and they only, it was 15 bucks for this bottle. So if you're in like the Harbor area or shop online, um, it's great. They have it. So 
This has um, 80% ethyl, ethyl alcohol, but I don't need a ton. Um, the, the alcohol is great for your sanitizer, which we can talk about too. Sorry, let me pull up. So alcohol, real quick, it's a germicide, and that's why you want it. It's effective in killing things like influenza virus. Rubbing alcohol is also a smart disinfectant. Um, so it's just great for keeping those germs ridden. So I'm gonna add a little bit in there as well, just because of this season that we're in. So um, the other thing you're gonna want is On Guard Cleaner Concentrate, which is not in stock right now, but you can substitute this. This is On Guard. So the On Guard products all are a base of this On Guard essential oil blend. So this is your protective blend. Um, I went into depth on this on my last live that I posted. So if you go to my feed, it's um, on threats. You can go ahead and look at that. So you can use this instead of the concentrate totally. This is just like an easy way to do it. So um, I'm gonna show you what I do. So these are almost empty, but I don't like wait till they're all the way empty. He's a dinosaur. Are you a dinosaur? Okay. <laughs> The other thing you're gonna want is your favorite essential oil for cleaning. So I'm gonna talk about each one of these as I go through them, but I have a few here that I use. Optional, I like to add, I like to add, so it's the aroma. Hey, dinosaurs are quiet, are they? Maybe. Um, that complements the aroma, but also is effective in the way I'm gonna use it. So I'll talk about that. So I'm refilling both. Again, you can use these countertops, windows, floors. I mean, we literally use it for everything. I ditched all my, you know, I had like a Windex, uh, Lysol all-purpose, uh, like stainless. I had like everything and I was like, ditched it all. This is gonna be what um, you can lean on and trust that it's gonna be clean for your family. So um, you're gonna do about two tablespoons of the On Guard Cleaner Concentrate if you're using this. Um, if not, you are going to add probably 20 more drops. Let me make sure. Um, it's 20. Total, they did 15. That's a lot. Okay. I'll post this. 30 drops um, of essential oil in a bottle of this. So, instead. But I'm going to use this and I'm going to use a little bit of my um, essential oils to add. So, I'm going to add about two tablespoons. I don't measure out. If you want to measure out the first time, go for it. I'm just going to give two squirts is generally what I do. This stuff's sold out right now, so it's kind of like um, gold right now for me. But you can use this too on your stains. So I didn't really believe that. But directly on a stain, I've gotten out, I mean, I have this two-year-old boy. Um, <laughs> so I've gotten out jam, wine, coffee, chocolate, mud, whatever you can think. Um, I don't create a separate spray for it. I would like to do that when I have an actual laundry room, but I just drizzle this straight on and then kind of agitate um, clothes. But So it's really awesome stuff, powerful. I did not believe it worked until um, I got red wine out of white the first time and I was like, that's crazy. So um, then I'm gonna go ahead and add my essential oil. So. You could always add a little more on guard if you want, especially if you've got stuff going on um, and you know, it's just winter and there's lots more germs and bacteria and stuff. Um, you can do that. You can add Melaleuca is awesome. It's tea tree oil. So uh, it's very cleansing. Um, I do want to tell you the side benefits too. Um, so excuse my mess. You stay right there. <laughs> so um, Melaleuca, is just a, I, I love the aroma. It's very deodorizing too. So what I'm doing is I'm just looking in my Essential Life book. And this is what you do when you don't know how to use an oil. Um, or let's say you want to see what the side benefits are. You can just pop your book open. So it has properties such as antiseptic, antibacterial, antifungal, antiparasitic, antiviral, and a few others. And it's going to be really helpful for your skin. It's going to help be an antiseptic, so if you have cuts, wounds, um, we have, like it's really good for your oral health. So if you've got anything going on, you or your kiddo, um, I've done like a rinse with it. Um, also hair, helps with lice, dandruff, 
Um, ear infections, awesome for ear infections, really effective. Acne, of course, um, so your bronchitis, cold, flu, also hives, rashes, rashes itchy skin, etc. So that's some of the things about Melaleuca. This is my favorite, lemon, really detoxifying and cleansing. Um, I almost have this one all memorized for you, but um, this gets off a lot of sticky stuff. So if you have stickers or let's say you just want something that's a little bit more umph for your kitchen, like you got a lot of grease and stuff, um, lemon's gonna be awesome. You can actually just drop straight on too, but um, I like to add it to my cleanser. So um, again, I'm just opening my book. <laughs> this kid cracks me up. Here you go. And so really good for seasonal support. You have um, itchy eyes, runny nose, those kind of things. Um, also, so like I said, degreaser or a polish for your furniture. Um, it's cleansing, so it's going to be great for your um, eliminating organs like kidneys, gallstones. Um, also good for lymphatic cleansing, so you can like add this to a dry brush and dry brush um, you know, your body after a shower and help with that kind of um, congestion and varicose veins that's so really great there and then we have the last one is a blend so in this you actually have lemon and melaleuca so this is purify the cleansing blend so if you didn't want to buy separate um let's say you just want to buy one bottle you can buy purify um similar to a pine saw smell but it's the real thing so a lot of times when you're smelling no thank you okay okay get down we don't want to do that. You can sit there and be good. There you go. And, um, but so when you're getting something that it ha it's chemical based, they're packing all these chemicals that try to mimic the actual smell. This is the actual aroma. This is actual lemon peel, lime, tea tree, Siberian furs in it. What else? Uh, cilantro. So citronella is also in it. Um, so you can buy all those oils separately too, but this is just a way to buy your blend. Okay. Um, so in these, um, I'm going to do, I'm going to do lemon, um, and melaleuca for the kitchen. And then I'm going to do purify for the bathroom because we're in a trailer and the bathroom's tiny. So we need some extra, uh, deodorizing smell. So, um, I did about 10 drops. Um, I am a more is more gal, not a more is less gal. So you do you. Um, I'm gonna do a few drops of each of the Melaleuca and the lemon. And this is super helpful, like our stove top, just everything just sticks right to it. Um, and then we also have, you know, just like even the oven, it just accumulates. So, um, and then I'm gonna do about a quarter cup of the vinegar. I'm gonna move my book so that way. Hey. Can you not climb up there though, please? Are you a good listener? So I'm gonna aim here and just judge. And the cool thing is, is it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't like that really harsh vinegar smell, so. Just like that. That's about right. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of the sanitizer. So this is the hand surface sanitizer. This is um, by Heritage, it's just alcohol. So smart of them to do this, like seriously. So I'm just gonna do a little bit here. That way I have a little of all the goods. Yeah, I might add a little more, but I'm gonna top this off with water. So I'm not gonna run over to the sink right now, um, but I'm gonna top it off with water. And if it foams, just stop, let it settle, add a little more water. But then you have your cleaner. So right now we're like blowing through this. So um, as soon as that cleaner concentrate comes up, I'll make sure to share with you guys um, because I'm sure it'll go quick. But um, yeah, so I think the, the cleaner concentrate is only $14.50 wholesale. So if you have a membership, you can add that. And then um, if you got started with a starter kit or you want to, the On Guard, Melaleuca, Lemon, those are all in most of the starter kits. Um, and those are 20% off right now, the starter kits. Purify, add-on, awesome. Um, yeah. Can you use... Oh, sorry, Amy, I didn't see your comment till now. Which one on Canker Sore? The Melaleuca? I think you could definitely use Melaleuca on it. Um, I think that was listed too, but I just want to double check. 
I'm really bad at reading the comments. I'm like, chime in, guys. <laughs> and then I don't read them. Uh, let's see here. I think it says canker sore. Do, 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 do. Yeah, canker and cold sore. Yeah. So that was Melaleuca, the tea tree oil. Awesome. And I know, like. Here, come over here so they can see you. Okay, tell him. He's got jam on his face, but here, you know, show him. It's a holiday that hat. Okay, and that's On Guard. So Sawyer uses On Guard. It's a hard. It's so cold. Okay, so you use On Guard. We have a roller for him. This is a game that. Yeah, yeah, you could show him how you smell one. I don't want you to smell these ones, though neat but um so he puts we roll on guard on his back right now every day just up and down his spine good protocol just to help keep him nice and healthy i actually okay you really need to get that jam off where's your napkin um and then he also takes the beadlets so i talked about this in my last video you can go watch that but he takes the on guard in beadlets which he takes internal, so um, we take the soft gels, we or we just drop it in a veg capsule. Right now, you should be doing that. If you have this, use this all the time. And the lemon. So um, you gotta come this way, baby. Here, come this way. Oh, right there. See, now you can. They can see you. You are showing. I stole you but you better No clue what he's saying. But uh lemon we've I've actually been putting a drop in his water. Um so we want to make sure that we're being cleansed and um if we are inhaling nasty things then we wanna make sure that we're keeping our palate nice and clean. Um yeah. So what else? I think that's kind of it. You guys have any more questions? So casual. Um, I don't know what I'll talk about tomorrow, but I'll try to post it if I have a chance. If not, I'll just jump on. I know we're all like bored. So if you, um, I think you can go to my profile and go turn on notifications. So that way, like if I did come on live and I don't know what time, then you can get that notification. It's right. We're all like sitting and binge watching TV and stuff, right? <laughs> um, anyways. It was great talking to you guys. Um, have a good day one. Make the most of it, okay?